The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Romans. What I am saying is this. Is it possible that God abandoned his people? Out of the question. I, too, am an Israelite, descended from Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. God never abandoned his own people to whom ages ago he had given recognition. Do you not remember what scripture says about Elijah and how he made a complaint to God against Israel? What I am saying is this. Was this stumbling to lead to their final downfall? Out of the question. On the contrary, their failure has brought salvation for the Gentiles in order to stir them to envy. And if their fall has proved a great gain to the world and their loss has proved a great gain to the Gentiles, how much greater a gain will come when all is restored to them? I want you to be quite certain, brothers, of this mystery, to save you from congratulating yourselves on your own good sense. Part of Israel had its mind hardened, but only until the Gentiles have wholly come in. And this is how all Israel will be saved. As scripture says, from Zion will come the Redeemer. He will remove godlessness from Jacob, and this will be my covenant with them when I take their sins away. As regards the gospel, they are enemies, but for your sake. But as regards those who are God's choice, they are still well loved for the sake of their ancestors. There is no change of mind on God's part about the gifts he has made or of his choice. In our response from Psalm 94, how blessed are those you instruct Yahweh, whom you teach by means of your law, to give them respite in evil times, till a pit is dug for the wicked. Yahweh will not abandon his people. He will not desert his heritage, for judgment will again become saving justice, and in its wake, all upright hearts will follow. If Yahweh did not come to my help, I should soon find myself dwelling in the silence. I need only say I am slipping for your faithful love, Yahweh, to support me. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now it happened that on a Sabbath day, Jesus had gone to share a meal in the house of one of the leading Pharisees, and they watched him closely. He told the guest a parable because he had noticed how they picked the places of honor. Jesus said this, When someone invites you to a wedding feast, do not take your seat in the place of honor. A more distinguished person than you may have been invited. And the person who invited you both may come and say, give up your place to this man. And then, to your embarrassment, you will have to go and take the lowest place. No. When you are a guest, make your way to the lowest place and sit there so that when your host comes, he may say, my friend, move up higher. Then everyone with you at the table will see you honored. For everyone who raises himself up will be humbled. And the one who humbles himself will be raised up. The Gospel of the Lord.